to my channel. So today I would love to know what your ultimate travel destination is. Leave it as a comment below. I swear this is probably one of the hardest questions. I think for me, my ultimate travel destination would possibly be going through South America, but I swear it changes all the time. So please leave me a comment. Tell me your ultimate travel destination because I'm always after new and interesting places to go. And today I have a what's in my travel carry on suitcase because I recently purchased a new one and I got all excited. And then I did a couple of plane trips from Canberra to Sydney to Brisbane and I was like well I have everything organized and I have this new suitcase like this little wheelie thing I was like I have to show you guys what's in it so that's what I have for you today but I also have a DIY with this video I decided to get a little bit creative and I made some DIY travel tags so these are the little ID tags the little luggage tags I have a little emoji inspired one that is like the earth I also have this a cute little pineapple one as well and I also have a heart one these were so much fun to make so stick around to the end of the video please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it let me know if you would like to see more DIY and more travel related videos and don't forget to check out my vlog channel which I'll have listed in the description it's also like a travel channel slash daily vlog channel so definitely check that out if you're interested and let's go ahead and get into what's in my little wheelie bag and how to make these adorable little luggage tags so this is what my suitcase looks like when it is open I have this little pouch in the center that I have absolutely no idea what to do with I'm sure I'll find something that will be easily lost to place in there but this side is like the bottom side and then this one is sort of the top and the front in this side I have my MacBook Pro I have the charger cord that goes with it I have a charger for my phone just in case I need to charge my phone or transfer anything from my phone to my computer I also have a portable hard drive this is my WD Elements sort of like passport hard drive I use a lot of my video footage off here to edit with so I kind of need to keep that with me otherwise I find it very difficult to edit and then this is my MacBook it's a 15 inch one and as you can see I have no case on it I did recently travel by just chucking everything in here and everything was like totally fine which is awesome but I want to be on the safe side and actually get a case for this but I have no idea where to find one so please leave a comment down below and tell me where I can find a nice little padded case for this so that's a little bit safer when traveling but this is all carry-on so it's not being thrown in under the plane so it's a little bit safer because I have control of where the bag goes so this is the side where I keep all of my goodies I have this little latch stretchy elastic like keep everything together thing so I guess I'll start with the biggest thing. I have my camera case in here. I don't actually have my camera in there because I am currently filming on it, but it's just a kind of basic camera case that my SLR fits in. I also have another lens, which is my Canon 50mm lens. Oh, look, there we go. There is a USB as well. I also have some charger stuff at the back. Um, I usually have a spare camera in the side pockets and then in the front is where I can keep some SD cards and other battery chargers as well. So I have a few of those in there. So right on top, I have some makeup removal wipes. I like to take these with me everywhere, just in case I have to remove my makeup. Well, let's be honest, I have to remove my makeup every single night. So I like to keep these on me rather than packing them away in my checked luggage. So we all know that sometimes checked luggage can get lost or if I am doing like a quick stopover somewhere it's easier to get the things that I need for that stopover out of this bag than it is to go in and open up my other bag so I have my smart skin and makeup removal wipes I also have a broken hairbrush which kind of fits perfectly now it's more like a travel hairbrush than a real sized hairbrush I also have my crush cosmetics uh, makeup brushes so I like to carry all of my makeup brushes and my makeup with me when I am carrying on to this plane because if I'm leaving really early in the morning, I don't like to do my makeup until I'm possibly at my destination, in which I'll just duck off to the bathroom and do my makeup then. Um, this is my little makeup case. This is my Ted Baker one, and I will go through all of this in a moment, but it's such a good travel size. Then I have some clothes. So I always like to take a spare jacket. This is a brown jacket that I got from Living Doll. I actually got this from these market sales. It was $20 down from $120 and it was brand new. It still had all the tags on it and everything. I got a black one as well, but I like to make sure I have an extra jacket. I also like to take an extra pair of clothes just in case something goes wrong and I need an extra set of clothes. So I just have this nice black loose top from Cotton On and it's just nice and flowy. It's kind of good for this time of the year as well. I'll also take an extra pair of jeans. This one 
These ones are from Zara and they're just white jeans. I love these jeans. They're super, super comfortable and they are just perfect to go with any top. I also take an extra pair of socks just in case because my feet always get cold. These are just some really cool like stripy purple socks. Lots and lots of fun there. But I like to take socks with me in case I'm wearing boots or my feet are cold and I like to wear something around like a hotel room. I also take a couple of pairs of underwear extra just in case because you never know if you're going to get lost. You never know what's going to happen. So I like to take that as well. And I also like to take my pyjamas with me too because I love sleeping in pyjamas. They are my favourite. These are these adorable little owl pyjamas that I got from Big W. I'll be featuring these in another video very shortly. But I am in love. I think they're so cute. And I love this little teal strip that I have as well. So those are my warm little pyjama pants. So yeah, that is everything that is in my carry-on bag. As you can see, it is now empty. So this is my Ted Baker little makeup bag. It is seriously so perfect for traveling because it kind of limits you as to what you can take so you don't overpack. But it's adorable. It's got this kind of like rose gold features. It's so, so cute. So first up is a foundation. I have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Radiance Reveal Foundation in the color Light Vanilla. This is for when I'm not tanned and it also works as a mixer for toning down my darker foundation which is at the bottom of the bag. I also take some false eyelashes which are in a little plastic bag in there and I also have some eyelash glue. This is eyelash, eyelash fix from Daiso. It's seriously such a good glue um, especially considering it's only $2.80. Um, I also have an Essence Lash Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara. This stuff is amazing and I have been using this on my bottom lashes at the moment. I have an MUA Brow Pencil. This is a shape and highlight pencil. So one side has a highlight and then the other side has the pencil. I have a Peaks Cosmetic Liquid Lipstick. This is amazing. It is a gorgeous purple color. This is in the color Purple Kisses. It is amazing. I do have other lip products. This is the only one in here, but most of my lip products are in my handbag. I have a Jewel Ended Spoolie Brush from Ardell. For everyday mascara right now, I am using the Unique Fiber Mascara. So it comes with like a regular mascara and then the fibers as well. And I've really been loving it. I know a lot of people hate fiber mascara, but it really works for my lashes and it does look amazing. For concealer, I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I also have an e.l.f. eyebrow kit just in case I need to change up from the pencil. I also have a NYX blush. This is in the color Spice It and it's amazing. I'm also carrying a second blush at the moment. This is the MUA blush in uh, Cupcake and it's kind of a little bit more natural, a little bit more pinky and I really like this one as well. I am carrying a Designer Brands Retractable Pencil Long Lasting Pencil. This is just a really nice pencil for eyeliner. I've been using this sort of to smudge in the top and bottom lash line. I also have a Boleto Grey Pearl Liner just in case I don't feel like having an intense black liner. I also have my Boleto Gel Liner so that I can do dramatic wings. For powder I have my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting pressed powder in translucent. I do have my Stylus Fresh and Flawless pressed powder but that one tends to stay in my handbag rather than in my carry-on. For eyeshadow I have my Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette. This stuff is amazing. For bronzer I have my Benefit Hula. As you can tell I have very much hip pan and I am getting towards the end of it but I love this bronzer. It is perfect. It's matte. It's just amazing. So my other foundation is my Rouge Bunny Rouge, Rouge foundation. This stuff is amazing. This is in the color wheat cream. It's darker, so it's a lot darker than my other foundation and it works well for when I'm tanned. Next is a highlight. This is the Vanilla Co. The Secret Marbling Highlighter. And the last product I have in here is a Baby Professional Sample so that I can prime my face. This has lasted me actually a really long time. I don't know where the lid has gone, but it's still doing the job even though there's no lid. So I'm hoping that that's not like a health hazard, but yeah, that is everything that is in my travel makeup kit. So for the luggage tags, you will need some colored felt. I have blue, green, pink, and yellow. You'll also need some templates. I made these in Illustrator. If you would like them, just pop over to my Facebook page and I can give them to you. Um, you'll also need some clear plastic for the window, a hammer, some pins, and a needle. You'll need some fashion snaps press studs and the little doohickey that puts the studs together, some fabric glue, a pair of scissors, and some thread as well. So I'm starting by cutting out the templates. I have a large heart for the outside, a medium heart for the window, and a small heart for the inside. So I'm starting with the large heart and I'm going to cut out two of these from the pink fabric. 
So then I'm cutting out the little heart from the big heart. I make a little snippet under the paper and work my way around the heart so that you end up with a template. And then I'm going to run a little bit of fabric glue around the very outer top half of the heart. You need to leave a little bit open at the bottom so that you can slide through the window. Then I'm taking a needle and some light pink thread and I'm just doing a simple stitch around the top half of the heart just to hold it in place and keep it together. And it also adds a nice little bit of detail as well. Then I'm going to take my window template and trace the heart onto the clear plastic and cut that one out. I've also cut out my name tag and I'm sliding the two of them into the heart template. Then it's time for the pineapple. So again, I'm starting by cutting out all of my little template pieces. So I'm going to start with the top of the pineapple and I'm going to cut one of these out in the green felt. Then I'm going to cut out two of the large rectangular shape from the yellow fabric. Then using a needle and some brown thread, I'm going to create little crosses across the front of the pineapple to kind of give it that little extra detail and a little bit of that pineapple texture. So on the other yellow piece, I'm taking the smaller one to cut out the window again, making a slit underneath the paper and then working my way around so I have like a window. And then I'm going to put the green piece between the two yellow ones and run a little bit of glue around the outside. Again, leaving a space at the bottom clear so that the window can slide on through. Then I'm cutting out my clear plastic window and the name tag and sliding them into the pineapple. Then it's time for the earth emoji. So again, I'm cutting out all the template pieces. Um, as you can see, I have a little Africa and Europe shape template. So I'm going to start by cutting out two of the large circles from the blue fabric. And then I'm going to cut out the uh, Africa template and cut that out of the green. I also took the time to make a few extra slits across the continent so it looked like there were bodies of water as well. Then it's time to cut out the little window, again making a slit under the paper and working my way around so that I have a little ring. And then I'm going to glue the outer edge of the circle, again leaving a space at the bottom so the window can slide on in. And then I'm going to be taking some blue thread and doing a simple stitch around the top half of the circle just to hold everything in place. Then I'm going to glue my little continent to my earth. I also cut out a little Madagascar and a little shape for the UK as well. Then I'm tracing and cutting out my window and of course cutting out my little name tag and sliding them on into my little emoji earth luggage tag. So next up, I used a stencil knife to make a slice at the bottom of each of my luggage tags where there was no glue or no stitching. This is so that I can put through a little handle, which I am cutting a strip of each of the colors of fabric, so pink, yellow, and blue, and I'm just going to thread them through the slit. <laughs> Then I took my press stud pack outside because I didn't want to risk hammering the table and basically there are instructions on the packet but you have a top and a bottom and I'm just doing one on each side of the strip of fabric so that I can put them together around my luggage handles. Those are my luggage tags. So that's my what's in my travel luggage bag video and my little DIY luggage tags. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in my next video. Bye.